first. Welcome back. The state of North Dakota has filed a lawsuit against the federal government. And joining us for tonight's KX Conversation is North Dakota's Attorney General Wayne Stengem. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Wednesday afternoon, your office filed a suit against the federal government, including the Department of the Interior and the Bureau of Land Management. The lawsuit is in reference to canceling auctions of oil and gas lease of public mineral rights. Mr. Attorney General, why is the state taking this to the courts? So this is a very significant lawsuit because the consequences are so enormous for North Dakota. The federal government, and in this case, the Bureau of Land Management, is required by federal law to conduct lease sales of their mineral acres quarterly. And that's a federal law. That is, that is not just an executive order or a guideline or a rule. It's a federal law that requires it. But the, nonetheless, the Bureau of Land Management uh, twice, both in March and in June, canceled the required uh, legally mandated uh, the lease in North Dakota. That has a consequence for us because the way that things work in North Dakota is that we have units of land that are owned largely by private people or by the state of North Dakota. And even if one of those parcels in a unit that could be 1,260 or 1,280 acres might uh, contain just a teeny portion of federal land, uh, the law says that there is no possibility to develop it when there has been no lease and there has not been a federal uh, permit that's been issued. And so this has great consequences for us in North Dakota. The potential loss for non-development of our minerals could be in the hundreds of millions of dollars, even over the short term. So it's a great concern for us. And it's an action that on the part of the federal government is in a direct violation of the statute. Yeah, you said today this has already cost the state more than 80 million in lost revenue. Why is this so unique here in North Dakota? Well, because in, or we're a little different than other states that have litigated the same uh, action by the federal government because so much of our land is owned privately or by the state. In Wyoming, uh, their land is largely and their minerals largely owned by the federal government. Same thing in Louisiana that likewise has litigated and has an injunction in place, but their drilling, of course, is largely offshore, and that's not owned by private people uh, or by the state. In North Dakota, it is the case where uh, our minerals are owned by private owners, private uh, individuals, plus by the state of North Dakota. But the fact is that if a federal, the federal government has even a teeny square foot of acreage within a drilling unit that can prohibit the development of all of the minerals within that unit. And so the consequences for the North state of North Dakota that rely for more than half our state general fund revenue on oil taxes uh, is going to be significant unless we can get the mandamus from a, a federal court commanding that the BLM do what they are, after all, required by federal law to do, and that is to hold these auctions so that we can develop our minerals in an environmentally uh, friendly and a coordinated, systematic way. Okay, well, let's leave it there. Mr. Attorney General, thank you very much. My pleasure. Next on KX.